So, Dr. Pete, how can you explain to our listeners and us tonight why males develop a male pattern baldness, and is it due to testosterone? Um, I think the the belief in testosterone as the cause is similar to uh, the old belief that um, males got prostate cancer because of having testosterone. Uh, since males get a particular kind of baldness, uh, it's easy to blame it on testosterone. But uh, in fact, there's there's no evidence showing that uh, excess testosterone is responsible for it any more than excess testosterone causes prostate cancer. And so that's where the idea of increased sensitivity came in because there was no evidence of uh, too much of the hormone. Right. But he he when, said he did say that when they measured the blood levels of men with lots of hair and men with no hair at all in their head, the, the levels of testosterone were not important. So the best they could come up with is that their cells had a sensitivity to testosterone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, that sort of fills in for a <laughs> lack of evidence. <laughs> right. When you look at the actual <clears throat> hormone situation of people with lots of hair on their head and with with not much, uh, what you see is an excess of prolactin and cortisol in the people losing their hair, both men and women. And uh, when you look at the effect of testosterone on the growth of the hair shaft, uh, the higher testosterone makes it grow uh, thicker and faster. And prolactin uh, tends to cause it to fall out. In chickens, it's and other birds, it's known as the molting hormone. Uh, it, it, it's um, in humans, it's uh, the milk-producing uh, hormone largely, mm -hmm. but it also regulates practically every other cell in the body, and it, it has that analogous function of uh, terminating the growth cycle of the, of the hair shaft. And uh, cortisol and prolactin both rise during stress and uh, there for a long time people have been noticing uh, the um, association of baldness with heart disease and also with a, a crease in the earlobe and uh, both of those have been challenged repeatedly but there is clear evidence that they they are associated uh, uh, the and what links those is also connected to prolactin and uh, high cortisol, uh, which is uh, the uh, low energy production, uh, a thyroid deficiency tendency, uh, letting the um, metabolism of cholesterol uh, go down more towards increased cortisol and less towards uh, pro progesterone and testosterone. And uh, DHEA things that do promote hair growth. Mm 